Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer and today I'm gonna talk about what it's like living on my own at 19 years old. First, I'm gonna start out with like why I wanted to live alone, like kind of like the backstory, everything like that. I'm just gonna like get right into it. So, it's not really like an exciting story or anything. So I was living with my dad and my brother. Um, so back in January, I got a new job and it was like downtown. Well, my dad's house was about 45 minutes from where my new job was at. And about three months into the job, I got so sick of driving like the distance, like 45 minutes, like to and from like, it was just, it was not for me because I would go, I would leave for work at like noon and then I wouldn't get back till like 5 a.m. Because like I would work from like 1.30 to 10 and then pick up like a PCA shift till like 4 a.m. So like I was not, like I wasn't getting home at like a great hour and then I'd have to go and like redo that whole thing. Like it just, it was not, I didn't like it. And plus gas was rising and I don't know, I just, there was like... A lot of other things like me and my ex had broken up in like December and like the my whole like room and just the house in general just really reminded me of him and it was like affecting me mentally like I didn't even want to like be there like I would do everything in my power to not stay home like I would always be out doing something anyways if I wasn't at work and like I would pick up as many shifts at work as I could because like it just reminded me of him like I couldn't even I couldn't even stay there anymore like there was no like family problems there was no family issues like nothing really like exciting went down like I don't know I definitely was not expecting to move out um and I don't think my dad really was either but he also didn't try to make me stay home that was kind of the thing because I thought he was going to be like, no, it's fine. Just save your money, stay here. But surprisingly, he actually came and looked at this apartment with me and he like agreed to it. He's like, yeah, this is great. Like, whatever. So I was actually kind of surprised. But yeah, like nothing really exciting went down. Like there was no like arguing. Like we didn't have a falling out. Like my dad's literally my best friend. I still talk to him every single day. Like nothing really went down. But Anyways, this was the second apartment I had even looked at. I literally, moving out was like a last minute decision. Really, I wasn't even looking at apartments for like a week before I was like, let me just move out. Like I did not look very long, but I had very, I wouldn't say strict rules on the apartment that I wanted, but I knew that I wanted an apartment that water and electric was included. So some of my coworkers, they all live on like off campus housing. And so I was like, you know what? Maybe that's not too bad because all of their stuff is included. Most of the places have pools. And if your specific apartment doesn't have a pool, then usually the other apartments will let you come and use theirs. And like, it's just, it's like nice. Like they're all kind of like affiliated with one another, you know? So I had went and looked at one other apartment, which was not affiliated with the school I'm gonna go to and the price was just way too high and I knew that I really didn't want a roommate. Like I just, I don't want to come home, like dread coming home, you know? Like I want this to be like my safe place. Like I want it to look how I want it to look and like stuff like that. So didn't really want to have a roommate. So I had went to look at this other apartment and I knew I was gonna have to have a roommate to afford it. And plus water and electric was not included. And so not only was it way above my like price limit, but like, other things were going to be included so I came and looked at the one that I live in now and I absolutely fell in love with it like I literally loved everything about it and so I moved in uh literally I looked at it and then I moved in the week after that um I was like freshly 19 like I had not even been 19 for a month and I got this place so that was pretty cool but yeah, so now I'm gonna talk about what it's like to live on my own. I do like living alone. It is nice. I like the fact that I can come and go whenever I want without having to tell someone where I'm going, what I'm doing. Even though my dad wasn't really like that, but it's just like, I felt like it was more like respectful because I was living in his house and I felt bad coming home late as hell every night after work and like possibly waking him up. So I just, it's nice to be like, oh, I'm not gonna like wake anybody up when I come in or like something like that. It's just nice. And like, I can have people come over 
like whenever, which is rare. I really don't have people come over, but like I can if I wanted to. Um, I can have people come over like whenever. I don't have to ask anybody. They can just come over whenever. I like the fact that I can buy my own groceries. I do not actually grocery shop. I don't go into stores and stuff. Like I just, that's not for me. I used to absolutely love it, but now I'm like, people are watching me. People are like judging what's in my cart. So I like, I don't do that anymore, which is so ridiculous because I mean, I don't look at what people buy. Like, I don't care. Like, unless it's like posted on YouTube, I'll watch it. But like, in real life, like, I don't care what people's, what's in people's cards. I don't look. So it's kind of, it's a ridiculous like anxiety, I guess. But like, it's there. So I just order my groceries online and I go pick them up. So, but I love doing that. I love being able to pick out what I want. And I love being able to come home and my food is still there. You know, like someone else hasn't eaten it while I've been at work. I love that. But I don't know. Like it's, I do like it. It's really nice. I like how I can decorate however I want. I probably already said that. But I feel like I got moved in here pretty quickly. It's very convenient because it's a straight shot to where I work at. Like I literally just drive 10 minutes straight down the road and I'm at work. Another thing, I'm going to do a couple like suggestions of like what I suggest in case you're looking for an apartment or whatever, there are things that you will need that you will not even think of. Like my first night here, it was like 2, 3 a.m. and I was like, let me go take a shower. I go in there and I'm like, where is the shower curtain? I couldn't take a shower. I had to get up butt crack and dawn the next day get a shower curtain, come back here and take a shower. I did not have a shower, like, I, for some reason that didn't even click in my head. I was like, oh, they just come with shower curtains. No, they didn't. Like my apartment was fully furnished when I moved in, which was convenient, but also I hate this furniture, but it was convenient. Um, It was like fully furnished. So I'm like, I was like, well, what's not gonna be there? So like I had to call the front desk a couple times and be like, hey, like what is in here? Like, what do I need? Cause like, I was like, do they have trash cans? Like, I don't know. Like maybe that was like a dumb question, but I had to ask just to make sure, you know, like, yeah. So that uh, definitely make sure you have a shower curtain. Cause like who thinks of that stuff? I had to look up several times, like things you need for your first apartment. Like I, like I, cause I had no idea. Like not, like I only have like a couple of friends that have like moved out on their own and like there wasn't really many people that I could ask, but yeah. So definitely shower curtains. Um, like I said, it was like a last minute thing, like me moving in here. So like, I did not have like any money saved up. Like I'm going to tell you, I pay over a thousand dollars a month for rent. I didn't even have 3000 saved up and I had to pay my first month's rent like ahead of time. So not only did I have to buy like extra stuff for my apartment, like dishes, trash cans, trash bags, all like every, like everything you really need. Not only did I have to buy all that, I also had to pay my first month's rent. Um, I did not have to pay a deposit. They had waived all those fees. They, they waived the uh, application fee. They waived all of that. So I didn't have to pay any of that, but um, like rent, everything I would need in this apartment, whole new stock of groceries. Like I wasn't like broke by the time I was done. Cause I was really trying to budget and really trying to pick out, okay, do I really need this? Like I was really trying to do all that. But also, um, one thing that I definitely did not need, but I absolutely love is this lamp. Um, I absolutely love that lamp. That was like the one thing where I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it because like I had seen it on TikTok and then um, I looked it up on Amazon and it was like a lot cheaper than like the website. If anybody wants the link, then just like comment. I'll put the link down below, but I highly doubt anyone's going to want it. So I'm not even going to link it in the description. I'm not even going to go looking for it until someone asks for it. But absolutely love that lamp. Um, if you take them off, they just... I seen it on TikTok and I was like, I had to have it. So I got the lamp was not in the budget, but I was like, I have to have it. So I got it. I think that's pretty much it for this video. If I think of anything else, then I'll probably make a part two, but thank you so much for watching. I will see y'all in a couple days.